Hey everybody, welcome back. This is part 15 of working with numbers in the operators and methods unit. So we're on to two operators at the same time here. We're going to do greater and greater than. So greater is going to return true if the first operand is greater than the second. Greater than or equal to will return true in the event that it's greater or if it's equal to. So this lets us do two things. One is to have an exclusive lower bound, which is to say that actual is greater than lower bound, so 9 is greater than exclusive lower bound. This expression is going to return true in the event that this number is less than, sorry, in the event that 9 is greater than our exclusive lower bound. So if we run this, we're going to see true. If we make them equal, we're going to see false. And if we make it so that 9 is not greater than our exclusive lower bound, we're also going to get false. With that in mind, Let's talk about this one, which I had the devil of a time in a previous video trying to highlight the whole thing. That was easier, mostly because you didn't see me mess it up like six times. So this one is going to be using greater than or equal to, which if they're equal, we're going to get true. If it's uh, explicitly greater than the lower bound, we're also going to get true. And the only time when it's going to be false is in the event that it is not specifically greater than or equal to the inclusive lower bound. So hopefully that wasn't too quick, but greater than and greater than or equal to are relatively simple concepts. Uh, if you need more practice with it, definitely feel free to jump into the REPL and just start, you know, four greater than five, wrap these in console.log statements and just kind of have a ball with them. So, uh, okay, we've got this one that has a number of envelopes purchased, kind of like our real world example. So we'll say, uh, this looks a little kind of messy. Let's move it over. Variable number of envelopes purchased. So we've purchased 430 envelopes. We need 350. So the Boolean variable acquired sufficient envelopes is going to be set equal to the number of envelopes purchased greater than the number of envelopes needed. So if the number of envelopes purchased is greater than or equal to the number of envelopes needed, then we have acquired sufficient envelopes. Excuse me. If we run this, we're going to see that that's true. Let's say that we need 3,150 envelopes. Then we will know that we have not acquired the sufficient number of envelopes. We are going to complete a function that takes in two number parameters, num1 and num2, and returns whether num1 is greater than num2. So you might be thinking, hey, don't I need something called a conditional for this? And the fun part is, no, we don't, not yet anyway. Um, your function should create a variable and assign it to the result of comparing num1 to num2 using the greater than operator and return that variable. The lower examples of the code running, assuming that you will have completed the described function, apply greater than. So we'll grab our function, our stub as it were. We'll grab our two test cases. So we want to create a result variable and comparing if num1 is greater than num2. So this expression here is going to result to true or false, and it's going to tell us whether num1 is greater than num2. We'll then return the result. If we run this, we're going to see true and false. So we'll copy our function, bring it back over to the input window, and the shape that we are in is reasonable. Reasonable is not really that good of a, of a synonym to good, at least in this context, but that's fine, we'll be in reasonable shape. Excellent. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.